Oh, hello. Hello, America. I'm Brad Cox with BradCoxWorkshops.com. For this Q&A, it's a question that I got on gear. What kind of gear do you take uh, on like your trip? So I just was recently speaking at Photo Beijing and went to Mongolia, Inner Mongolia, did a, a lot of pictures, right? You can check them out uh, at my portrait blog, BradCox.com. Click on blog. So I thought, okay, I'll show you some of my, the whole idea here is to be simple, right? Travel light, especially when you're going somewhere that far, like every pound you got a lug, right? So you want to be as light as you can, as, as low as you can. And a lot of things you can just pick up if you need, especially like in a place like China. If you need a jacket, you can buy a jacket. Apparently though, on this particular trip, I needed a jacket in Inner Mongolia because I wasn't prepared. I didn't realize how cold it'd be. Instead, I just layered up my shirts. Okay, so... This is what I just typically wear. So there's a few things. One, my camera, my actual favorite camera I'm using for video right now, but this is very similar in size, right? My favorite camera right now is the uh, Nikon D800. And it's just something like this. It's a simple body, small uh, zoom lens, and that's it. If I'm shooting an actual gig, like a wedding or something like that, I'm gonna have a, a lot of options, gear, lights, things like that. But I'm just walking around, it's gonna be something small like this on a strap. My strap is going to be a black rapid strap like this. I'll show you these in a second. And I just have that around. And then I have uh, my briefcase. So there's a few things. The reason, reason why I have a few of these things. So I'll bring my bigger camera case, but I'll keep it in the hotel. And this is what I just tend to walk around with. So and notice I've gaffered off all of my logos. And I do that so that people aren't distracted or trying to read what I've got. Especially helpful when I do in portraits. People are like, hey, is your camera better than mine? Or what model is that? How does that model compare to mine? I don't want those questions. So all my logos are gaffered off with gaff, gaff tape. Okay, and then a uh, uh, little talk about this here, my briefcase. I literally love this briefcase. I've got a few different sizes and things from this company. It's a saddleback leather. But what I like about it, uh, one, it's just cool and it weathers really well and it's great for like a carry-on on the, on the plane. So I put my iPad, laptop, things like that, books. Right when I, but when I get to the hotel, take that all out, and now it becomes like kind of my walk-around camera bag. And it's got like a hidden compartment inside where I can put my uh, uh, like second uh, passport, like my small passport card or like cash. I keep uh, my little point-and-shoot camera, and notice it's got a black rapid strap. And I'll show you that camera here in a second. And a lot of the pictures I took were shot with that little camera. And then the other cool thing is the straps. I can make it either just be one long shoulder strap, or I can double it up and make it a backpack, which is really handy, especially, uh, you know, it's like go from this length to here to down, just throw it on there now, all my arms are free, or I can double them to the side and just kind of make it like a shoulder bag. But what I like about it too is that it's not soft, so people can't just cut into it in a lot of countries. There's a lot of problems with uh, uh, pickpockets and especially like in Europe, they have like knives. It's cutting your bag and grab stuff, right? You can't cut into this. <laughs> and it's quite a deal to undo these buckles to get in. So it's not something you can easily break into. Okay, and then keep a lot of things handy like flashlight. Uh, got a little med kit here on the side with like a tourniquet and stuff. So I'm kind of prepared for a lot of just little things. And then this shamak is great, especially if it's at all cold, because it can be a neckerchief. I tended to use it a lot in Mongolia because I didn't have a hat or gloves. I use it a lot uh, to kind of wrap around like my ears, you know, to kind of make like a head wrap, keep my ears warm. A lot of people smoke in China. And so a lot of times I was just making like some kind of a, Thing like this or just tying it around and maybe tie it around twice and coming around my mouth a couple times so it kind of filter all that air and you won't even smell the smoke uh, on a plane you know or on the bus or things like that we're traveling from china to mongolia i'd hang this on the window block out light so it's very handy for a lot of things it's also handy for like just an emergency for like um, like a bandage tourniquet things like that so it's a really handy thing okay so then my straps and cameras. If I don't think I'm going to be taking a lot of pictures, I might just carry my little Lumix camera. And what I like about this camera 
is that it's all manual because I like control and it also shoots in raw. So I have a, uh, some adjustability in terms of shadow detail and things like that after the fact. So I can flip it on and it's very small and I can set all my little dials manually as opposed to going through a menu and setting things. I can dial it in and I can walk around and take a lot of pictures with just this little small setup. But if I'm specifically going on like an actual photo excursion, then I might do both cameras, in which case like I would use this strap, which does two cameras. And I really like these straps because it doesn't wear out the shoulders of my outfit. Like if I'm always going like this with my strap, right, or if it's hanging on my neck and my neck gets sore, or if I'm moving my strap around a lot, I was finding I was wearing out my suits uh, from shooting weddings or families. I was always wearing out my outfits. Right now, the strap stays put and the camera slides. So it's pretty slick and I can lock the camera down low if I don't want it to wiggle. So these straps are handy. And then I would just throw this on. Let's see, I'm backwards. And just put on two cameras. Right, and I'd have my small camera and my big camera. And I'd just pull up my good camera, put it down. If I need my little small one for whatever reason, I can have both cameras available. And then when I'm done, I can just pack this in my bag here. And it's not a camera looking bag, so I can kind of, it doesn't look like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like if you have like a camera bag, you really stick out in various situations. So this way it's kind of a little more incognito can kind of just blend in, but I also have some nice gear. So if I know I'm making big images or I hope to get like a specific shot, I might pull out my bigger camera. If this is something quick, then pull out my little camera. So there you go, that's kind of my basic setup. That would be, I didn't take a lot of lenses with me. I mean, I did in my big bag, but just not around with me hardly ever, just a zoom lens for the most part. I didn't take flashes, uh, I didn't take <laughs> tripods, uh, monopods, very simple, that's my basic setup. My bag, a couple straps, a couple cameras. And with that, I produced all right, a lot of the images that you see here in this book that you can also check out on my website. So I hope that helps you guys, gives you some good ideas of how to use your gear. If you have a question for me, uh, go to my website, brycoxworkshops.com, and I'd be happy to answer it. All right, until next time, America.